Welcome to the Dark Nook, where I make monsters. Recently, I've been working with foam clay, and what I've discovered is to make cool things out of foam clay, you have to start by making the parts. Lots and lots of parts. Teeth, tongues, fingers, tentacles. I made a lot of parts, and you're going to see them in a bunch of upcoming videos. While I make some tentacles and teeth and a tongue, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I start with a regular styrofoam ball, the kind you can get at just about any craft shop. I sloppily draw on the mouth, and then I carefully cut around the line. Then, using my all-purpose awl, with purpose, I pluck out the foam inside the mouth. Then, I get a heat gun, and on a low setting, I put just enough heat inside the mouth to melt the foam a little bit. Then I cut out the eyes, or rather, what are going to be the little indentations that the eyes set in. And then I hit that with a little more heat to melt the foam just slightly. And now, it's tentacle time. I want this guy to have a few larger tentacles like limbs, and then a bunch of smaller tentacles that it uses for locomotion. So the bigger ones are going to need an armature. I take green garden wire and I twist it up. Then I cut off a little piece of pool noodle and cut the top edge at an angle so the ball will rest inside easily. I clip the wire pieces apart and then I use my awl, I told you I use the hell out of this thing, to poke holes in the ball and then insert the wire, which I then secure with a little bit of hot glue. And then I repeat this process over and over for all the tentacles. I use hot glue to attach the foam noodle base to the foam ball. And I keep adding more tentacles. Then I use a trick. I cut slices and grooves into the pool noodle foam and hit it with a heat gun. This causes the foam to contract and exposes the cut area. This is good for tree roots or vines, but I'm doing it to break up the shape and make it look like a cluster of tentacles. I thought about using these beady yellow eyes, but viewers voted for the orange ones. I use the hot tip of the hot glue gun to touch up the tentacle texture. Then I coat the foam in Mod Podge. This helps the foam clay stick to the foam ball. Now, I only have a few colors of clay, and most of those are in many little packets, so this is going to get kind of technicolor before I'm done and I can paint it. I had some green. And I was originally thinking of going with a reptile style for this guy. But then I decided it would look way cooler to give him an almost human skin tone. Now you have to work with this clay in stages. It dries pretty fast, so I need to cover this whole guy in clay and use a texture stamp to press in this great texture. If this clay dries unevenly, it can crack, which is not a big deal. You just put a little Mod Podge in the crack and paint or sculpt right over it. For example, you can sculpt warts over some of the cracks, like I did, and didn't bother to record. So see if you can spot in the video when this guy suddenly magically sprouts warts. Once the base layer is done, I set it aside to dry for about 12 hours. Then I come back and add more details like eyebrows, but he doesn't have any eyes yet, so they're just brows. Then it's on to adding aluminum foil to the armatures for the tentacles. I crumple on the foil and rough out the basic shape and position of the tentacle. I wrap a little masking tape around the base and start adding clay. I blend the clay into the body and cover all the foil with clay. Then I blend the textures together using the stamp. Then I repeat the process for each tentacle. And as you can see, I've run out of green clay. So now it's on to blue. I repeat this for every tentacle. Clay, blend, texture. Then from blue on to pink, and then hey, I found some more blue, so back to blue. But then it was on to the yellow from more little tentacles. Which I left to dry over my awl. The innermost layer of tentacles is attached directly to the center bit of pool noodle foam. And then I'll attach more tentacles around and on top of those. This foam likes to stick to itself, but a little Mod Podge makes it stick even better. After I brush on some Mod Podge, 
I start building up the brow and then the areas around the nose and the mouth. I blend that off and texture it and then I let it dry. Now it's time for the eyes. The audience voted for the orange ones, so here you are. A little Mod Podge to stick them on and a little clay under the edge to position them. I'm going to sculpt eyelids over the top of this, but first it gets a coat of Mod Podge. Once that's dry, I roll out a long thin worm and shape the eyelid. Then I remember I should add more Mod Podge, so I add more Mod Podge. Then I smooth and I blend the edges of the clay worm. The Mod Podge really helps with the blending. I shape the eyelid and then carve in the little wrinkles. Then I add a worm of clay over the top to build up the eyelid just a little more. I shape it and smooth it and when I'm happy I repeat the process on the other eye. Hey look! Warts! Now it's time for teeth. First. I lay down some clay to act as the gums, and then I poke dents into it, about the size of the teeth I made. I put a little Mod Podge in that dent, and then I add the teeth. Now I know the teeth are different colors, but I'm going to paint them. I'm going to paint this whole thing, so it doesn't matter. I repeat this process on the upper part of the mouth. Same clay to act as gums, and then dents and Mod Podge and add teeth. Now while the clay is still soft, you can move and shift the angle of the teeth to line them up better. Then I smooth the gums around the teeth. I build up the mouth and lips until I have the shape that I want. Then I smooth it and blend it with a paintbrush. Then one last pass with a texture stamp. And once it's all dry, we can paint. I was so eager to start painting, I almost messed up. I forgot to cover the eyes. So, once I realized that, I cover the eyes with liquid latex and resume painting. I base it all out in black with a little Mod Podge mixed in with the paint. Then, once that's dry, I do a blood red coat. Also, with a little bit of Mod Podge mixed into the paint. Once that's dry, I sponge on a flesh tone, very blotchy with uneven coverage and no Mod Podge mixed into this paint. Then I spray on some watered down Mod Podge. I add some blue low tones and more red on the lips. Then I use a brown wash on the low points and the wrinkles. I add green and red highlights to the warts. Then I use a little pump spray bottle, the kind you can get at the dollar store, to spatter yellow and brown speckles all over the skin. It looks really good. I glue in the tongue and then I peel off the latex that's covering the eyes. And here it is, all done. Please like and subscribe. Now on to the beauty shots. Thanks for checking out my video. If you like this one, maybe you'll like one of these.